Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through data handling. Today we are going to discuss linking chances to probability. Jackson and Tommy are friends. One day, Jackson was playing a snake and ladder game with Tommy. Jackson has to cross only three places to win, and it is his turn to throw the die. He needs to get number three to win the game. Will he get the number three? We cannot say with certainty whether Jackson will get the number three or not. But there is a possibility or chance of getting three on the die. Here, throwing a die is an experiment that can have outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That is, the total number of outcomes equals six. Since our favorable outcome is number three, so the number of favorable outcome is one. Hence, the probability of getting three equals one by six. So we can say that probability equals the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes here, we get the outcome as 3. Similarly, we can obtain the outcomes that are greater than 3, lesser than 3, even number, odd number, etc. This type of obtaining outcomes is called an event. That is, each outcome of a random experiment, or a collection of outcomes, makes an event. If the event is certain, the probability is 1. For example, getting any number from 1 to 6 on a die. Favorable outcomes are numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is, number of favorable outcomes equals 6. And the total number of outcomes equals 6. Therefore, the probability equals 6 by 6 equals 1. If the event is impossible, probability is 0. For example, getting a number 7 on die. The favorable outcome is number 7 which is impossible, as the die has only the numbers from 1 to 6. So, number of favorable outcomes equals 0. Total number of outcomes equals 6. Therefore, probability equals 0 by 6 equals 0. If the event is likely to occur, the probability is less than 1, but greater than 0. For example, getting a number greater than 3. The favorable outcomes are numbers 4, 5, 6. Number of favorable outcomes equals 3. Total number of outcomes equals 6. Therefore, probability equals 3 by 6 equals 1 by 2. Thus, we have seen. If the event is certain, the probability is 1. If the event is impossible, the probability is zero. If the event is likely to occur, the probability is less than one, but greater than zero. Then we can say that the probability of an event can be zero less than or equal to probability less than or equal to one. Now let us move to another example. Charles bought 10 lottery tickets. If a total of 5,000 tickets were sold in that lottery, what would be the probability of winning the lottery by Charles? Here, 
The total number of lottery tickets equals 5,000. That is, the total number of the possible outcomes of the experiment equals 5,000. Number of lottery tickets bought by Charles equals 10. That is, the number of favorable outcomes equals 10. Therefore, the probability of an event equals the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. That is, the probability of winning the lottery by Charles equals 10 by 5,000 equals 1 by 500. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Suppose you spin the wheel with 12 colors. 1. Find the probability of getting a pink sector. And 2. Find the probability of not getting a pink sector. That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.